on a hike and evidently we found not a field of mice but a field of ticks. We have been doing tick ticks and pulling ticks off of each other since we got back. So gross. Anyway, he's amazed at how I kill them so he wants to show you how I kill ticks. I, I, it's, I grew up on a farm, what can I tell you? So here you here we go. You catch them between your fingers and then you catch them with a thumbnail. See this little bugger wiggling? I hate these guys. And then you squish them between your thumbnails and just squish, squish, squish. Sorry, I shouldn't say that on video. Squish, squish, squish. And then Got them all messed up. There he's dead. Isn't that gross? Hate these things. So that's how you squish a tick between your thumbnails, and you have to do that because they are they have such a hard body. It's like trying to 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 squeeze licorice or something. I don't know. And and also the the head on them is hard to get off. So I hope that didn't gross anybody out, but you got to kill those things. I'm sorry. I don't like killing things except ticks. I don't like them. That's like Deborah was saying. These ticks can be real hard to kill and get rid of. Um, it's one of those things you got to deal with if you're hiking or, or spending time in the outdoors. Uh, I grew up in the uh, South Shore of Massachusetts in the 70s, back before we had to worry about uh, Lyme disease and things, but the ticks were still a real big problem there at that time. And all my mother used to do is she'd pick them off us every night with uh, hemostats and then drop them in a bottle of rubbing alcohol. And that, that bottle of alcohol would sit on the fridge until it got pretty full and, and they get rid of it. So that's another way you can do it. Uh, but they are hard to get rid of. The bodies are real tough and hard to crush. And, and uh, of course, it is a concern with uh, because of disease and things these days. So just part of the territory. Now, I haven't seen any uh, since I've been in Wyoming the last couple of years, I'm sure there are some, and uh, I haven't run into any in Arizona yet, uh, but we're back in Montana right now, and when I used to live in Montana and go hiking here, almost every time I'd go hiking in the summer, I'd come home with ticks, and we'd have to get rid of them. It just was part of the part of the process when you go hiking, you know, and uh, a few other things that are really helpful. If you wear light-colored clothing, it's a whole lot easier to see them, and you can also wear, like, uh, if you tuck your... It may not be a fashion statement, but if you tuck your pants into your socks, that makes it harder for them to get under your pants. Uh, makes it a little easier to find them. And keep your shirt tucked into your pants as well. That makes it harder for them to get to the skin before they can uh, get to you. But it's basically the big problems, uh, where it's really, really a problem is when you're walking on places where the grass is tall, where the weeds are tall. Um, and what they do is they'll, they'll hang out on the grass or the weeds and then transfer onto you as you walk by or a deer or other animals they walk by dogs and things so you know that's something to look for make sure you check yourself good if you're out for if you are out in tick country uh, keep an eye out for the little buggers they're small they say if you're not familiar with them they're small and they look like a almost like a small spider um <clears throat> but they're 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 ticks and they have real hard bodies so just grab a hold of them and crush them down or drop them in alcohol, whatever you want to do to make sure that they're not coming back. Because if you just throw them on the ground, they'll come right back onto your clothing again and uh, look to get onto your skin. So hope that helps you out. Um, it's uh, just part of outdoors. And uh, we'll see you in the oh, next video. Wait, wait, Thanks. Wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know what else? I used to have a dog named Racket. He would lay on his back and let my duck, Gigi, pick the ticks off of him. We need a Gigi. Gigi sounds like a plan. So, so what do we say now? What do we say? It's, it's the end of the video. Oh, see you down the road. What you do when you want to 